Well, yeah, this one's impromptu. Something I thought. Yes, it's bright sunlight, even though I'm right now I'm in the shadows and you can see part of the building which will probably be coming down at some point in the near future over there. But there's a piece of history here which is just all left all on its own. Now, I don't know what's going on with these things because I haven't done any research. When I get back, I'll probably try to do some research, but from my recollection, these buildings have been empty for yonks. And I mean, like the backyards of these things, you can actually see from inside the, from the bus station. I'm just going to see how far along we go. I'm not sure how much of that lot over there will be going up when I have a walk down there later. This is an idea which I came up with. Just have a look at what abandoned buildings are in the town centre. So, never seen that going, so obviously I'm sure that's probably closed at some point, even though there is things there, so that might be open. I'm not 100% sure. You can call me an idiot and a waste of space and whatever. But yeah, here we go. New bus station, all of that area. Buses coming in and out. Obviously I think well this must be open because of all of this lot so there's probably something going on with that but I mean as you get around the back of here you, know, you might be getting blinded out by direct sunlight I actually can't see what I'm putting on the screen right now but just beyond here somewhere and over these walls which I am not going to try and scale because it's not point but we'll zoom you in on that bit that is a building in ruin right there and while I'm here I can also have a quick walk around the corners as well of what's here because there is obviously more back facades through this hedgerow and trees that you can probably see there so there is going to be multiple clips going on this but you can see up there as well. I'm barely struggling here. But the window has been put through up there. But yeah, we do have businesses which are here through the arcade and everything. Oh yeah, that's... That's got some decay. That window is hanging on. But it's really the centre since I'm not really going to be doing much of an update on that right now. See, I wouldn't have been out today if I didn't have a meeting because oh, I have an ingrown toenail and it got infected and antibiotics are running riot through my body so I am dehydrated but empty buildings along the way I think that was a green house or green oceans whichever way you want to say it and you've got something there and what was Darius PCA you know, other buildings up there which was like a, an 18 plus like gambling den thing with the slot machines and things there's other buildings up there well let's have a so these have got all the boards on actually if I can hear something I'll give you all a quick look at what's going on up there while I walk along here with you guys obviously a Methodist church is open. This thing's going on. She's been doing a lot of work inside this place for a long time, so something's definitely going on in there. So some people might be happy, other people might not be, but I mean, there's still things going on. Anyone know that one? Diggy diggy hole. Another diggy diggy hole. It's all cool though. Yeah, at least there's some scaff up there with the well, facade and fascia being sorted out. I don't know where the uh, chipping away was coming from, but I could hear it. Probably down there. Okay, so we do actually have a mountain of concrete. So this has become a bit of a, a micro update of this area as well whilst I'm looking at other things I can't see any work going on on there but I could hear something chipping or pecking away 
over there somewhere so I think they're clearing the concrete out of there and doing what they need to do over there I think the final part of this is probably going to be more to do with something which is right by the side of the park that giant rotten carcass which is there ah yeah here we go so this is one of these big dinosaur things pecking away over here into a nice little hole yeah so there's a nice mound of uh, concrete and rebar and there's obviously going to be a lot more concrete and rebar over here as well don't know what's going on with this or any of that but you can see now some of the other buildings which are around here for that anyway i will give you a pause for now pause if you can see it just peeking out the trees that is the place the rotting carcasses i've nicknamed it which is pretty much smack bang in the middle of a park mains park even though it is um spelt mesnes or whatever Mains Park. That is Ryland's Mill, or what was part of the Wigan and Lee Technical College. For a while, I could have gone there to do my catering qualification, but I went to Runshaw instead. The bits that we can see here, let's give you a quick zoom zoom. I think that was either put in the 70s or the 80s when they were doing a lot of the, um, a lot of the shopping complex because a lot of the architecture on that, on that extension, matches what that is or what was that as well. Same with some of the stuff to do with the hospital. Now, yes, it is railed off. No, I'm not going to go in. I'm just going to go up to these fences inside. Oh, I love woodlands for a rainstorm. I think we had about an hour's worth of rain and heavy rain but yeah as you can see from what I can see here in front of me a lot of this facade was redone and all of that white all of the yellow steels was put in as part of the expansion to turn this place into part of the college catering was up there I believe a lot of the more heavy industries like you know your boiler stuff and your, your welding and well, like your brickwork and your chippy work and stuff like that was all in the lower floors and there was a lot of classrooms and stuff so let's walk around the outsides and see yes I can see the way in and I am not going through it so this is a shame because rumours are it's going to get pulled down and you can see how much of that has gone a lot of the roof has way gone round here <coughs> whilst I'm walking through an absolute mess of brambles and everything else because there's loads more bits along here to get to as well see how far I can walk along the side before it really cuts in but yeah so, yeah you can see where they bricked up one way there that some people used to get in some people used to get in like by shinning up the windows stuff they've closed off that bit of the doorway as well over there so there is quite a lot of ways in that have all been boarded off so a lot of the bottom way has all been like, bricked up I will link to a previous explore I did about five or six years ago of this place I will also um, put in some photos that I took whilst I was on that explore as well that will be on the end of this it's a shame because this place is gloriously gorgeous treacherous inside I would not go in I would not go in because in the words of um, one Valentino Rossi well I lose my footing 
I crazy, I crazy, I know that crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy, but I'm definitely not that crazy to go in there. Now. Not these days, anyway. But yeah. So a lot of these have been all knocked down. So it makes a walkway and an entry point for some people quite easy. But you've got to climb up all of this and then still try to get in through these. Which is flipping difficult. You know. Yeah, let's walk through this bit. It's still wide open to here, so it's not that bad. Yes. See, I'm still on the outside of the main fence. But I think this was like a boiler house or something. They turned it into a cafe or something at some point. I'm not like 100% sure. Anyone that knows more about this than I do. But yeah, a lot of that up on that upper floor, that is where catering was all along here with the kitchens and everything up there and the restaurant up there as well and you had all of this lot here I believe originally this might have been one of the old boiler houses for it or something kids are screaming again yeah, give you a quick pausey pause so I'm just going to just back up and have a quick walk down there and have a look ski so pause for a second Back at. We're back down here. Just like to give you a quick pause so that I'm not kind of covering stuff that we've already just looked at. But yeah, all of this, all the way along down here, all of these woodland trails. So here, this is the other side of it. A lot of grand boards and everything. Clearly, there was stuff here to try to stop people getting up. And I can see where some people shinned in and tried to anyway. But yeah, I ain't doing it. Well, for one, I'm literally like, you know, I don't have any of my other stuff. I don't have my respirator, which is a full one. I don't have my flashlight. I don't have any of my other stuff. So, What's the point? But yeah, there is big expanse of buildings and outbuildings and other stuff over there, which I will, again, if I remember, I will link to that by a card above earlier on in the video so that we can actually have a look at where things are and what happened before a lot of the desolation. Well, it's a pretty spider one. Spiders all over around here. Keep walking, see what we can see. Yeah, I've just come to a wall. Yeah, there's nothing much down here. Anyway, whilst I venture my way back, let's. Uh, so. If you know anything about this place, anything more about this place or anything about its future and things, stick it in the comments below. If you like it, then uh, bang us a like. If you want to help contribute towards the quest to 500, then uh, by all means smash that subscribe button. Every sub a dub and like a like. Helpy, helpy. So this has been me on a random look at some of the decrepit, abandoned or explorer traps of Wigan around the town centre. Yes, I did miss quite a few other things, but as I said earlier, uh, I'm not exactly in the greatest point right now due to medications and other things. So um, yeah, anyway. See you star side. Remember, keep your mental health good. You only get out of life what you put in it. If you put that minimum amount in, you will only get the minimum amount back.
So, peace out. Goodbye.